Okay, everybody, I guess we'll continue with casual play for about an hour, hour and a half. We'll see where the game takes us, as it were, as we do an extended PSO session. It looks like there's interest in TTF. We're going to wish Chris the best rest and hopefully uh, improved health over the next couple of weeks. So if there's anybody that wants to hop in, I see Murphy's here, Draken was here earlier. Let us know. You got time for 34 mi minutes or whatever? Well, if you want to play a force into it or whatever, we we'll just do some TTF. I'll probably just make us Red ID again. I am addicted to Red ID TTF, I'm not gonna lie. But we can also do Viridian later. If we're lacking a uh, full party, I could go Viridian Phonuman for help leave. Get those LNKs. But I want to get at least one red ID first. So I'm going to go ahead and make the game. Yeah, I think next week... Uh, if we do end up playing PSO, we'll probably play some Endless and missing that a lot. We'll probably do Endless 1 and Episode 2 as well. And then we'll end with TTF as usual. Figure that'd be a bit more fair variety-wise. So we'll give Murphy a few minutes. Oh, Murphy's already here. Next week should be event time. Uh, hopefully. If it's not, it's, it is what it is. We'll do more of the guide in the morning, because most people aren't here when we start at 9.30. I feel like that kind of works out in its own way. But at least I could say I made progress on the guide recording. monster hunts anyway true yeah we'll even do some uh low level stuff eventually should get a hell needle that way i can do proper rock seal things for people looking to play but even do hard mode for people that are like level 20 to 40 just level them real quick <laughs> plus i do have something planned for when i just want to do a one-off we'll do a bonus session for that I'm going to try to play two games at once while the Halloween event is up. And that'll be the most dry of the cookie runs when we do that. That'll be like probably hard mode blue ID while I do other stuff at the time. Okay. I'm assuming nobody else is available. We'll get started once Murphy's here. Otherwise, we do have a free slot for people looking to hop in. anybody saying anything. So we'll wait another 10 seconds, because I know there's a stream delay. Still need a good Astron Bell. Oh, hope with that eventually, Murphy. We could do some blue ID runs of some nonsense at some point. We could do blue ID TTF. Rush all the goods. Especially for people looking to get out of level 80. That would be the perfect excuse to do that kind of quest. I'm assuming nobody else is joining. We'll continue. of rare. Disco. Unfortunate. I'll put a confused strap down and walk away. 
These guys don't have anything of interest, sadly. Oh, it's a lore, they might die. Take that free XP. I still can't believe we found the rare Hilda Bear. <laughs> There's like 12 in the whole quest. But like, of course, when we red ID, of course they would show up. Big troll. Okay, there we go. Big beat stick activated. Yeah, this character getting a few more levels will be useful. Because I need to correct her materials at some point. I'm just waiting till her stats catch up a little more. So definitely by 190 I can safely swap, but I think I was guessing it was 187 to be able to swap without losing attack power. Nice kill. See if this is close enough. No, no, it was not. <laughs> Too far over. I should have held down and right a bit more. One, two, three. I'm gonna be slime. Oh, went to Hellcleave. That's fine. Fire trap, fire trap, fire trap, die. Okay. You're dead. I'm actually gonna go for the uh, Discovery Rayman Man kill here. Too early. Oh well. If I had landed that, that would have saved one attack animation. You cast, I think it saves two. He just does so much more damage. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm actually gonna confuse trap this room. Ooh, that was so scary. <laughs> 7 HP, I'm like, hmm. Come on, Lavis Cannon. Bless us with your rare enemies. One, two, three on these dupes. Got some chances. It is kind of funny that Red ID ends up being a rare enemy, huh? Normally when we do TTF, we're like, oh, frozen shooter. Now I'm like, ooh, slime. Sadly did not acquire it. Yeah, I'm not gonna dark flow the boss, so if you heal me by accident, it doesn't matter here. Probably gonna panic heal. Oh, invincibility again, nice. Well, it's Jaya time. Wow, okay. I saw my damage, I saw Hellcleave's damage, and I was like, yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's actually just over. We were doing like 5k combined, if not 6k, without crit. That was gross. My boss. Right, so I'm gonna stay behind to kill some of these. Because these are hard of items. I am really surprised that did not kill me, to be honest with you. That should have. I could put a fuse trap here. Let them work each other over with some fast fist attacks. On hard of item. Alright, so they just cleared the other door, so I gotta go. Otherwise, it just takes too long. Yeah, the reason we do that is there's a hard of item on those enemies. The fact that Red ID now gets two Heart of Items definitely breaks up the value in my mind for TTF. Like, quite a lot. Right, if they chase me further, they can walk into that Confused Trap. 
I'm like a little slow to the party, but I don't think this matters. The reason being is as long as they circle on the outside of the room, they should just all kill each other. Sinnohs are actually the easiest to manipulate into killing each other with Confuse, so I've just learned to just do that over Freeze Traps. You see, I just got like two kills, like no effort. They're like the least scary thing for me now. Normally they'd be a nightmare. Nice. A little shy. Bonk. Might as well kill those for the heart of. I forgot my twin blaze, so good luck. I need to just put it on this character. Although I think I just need more twin blaze in general. I think I just have two now, thanks to Hopefully. Or it could be in our bank. We we'll probably check that later. Build one of those. Let's go, brave man time for sure. By enemies. <laughs> you can just tell when the Disca is at the Berserk portion because the health just evaporates in real time. Holy. <laughs> Gone. Um. Yeah, I'll stay behind to kill. kill these for sure. I want the, uh, what's it called? Arlen's. Chill. These guys are done, we'll move on. Every one of those is a Disco Brave Man chance. So this is like one of the few times I'll stay behind in a room, just to make sure they die. If he rounds the corner, I'll kill him. There we go. Ooh, my materials. Eh, I'll leave the other one. I don't think it's worth going for a full Arlen clear unless you have a four-player party. It's hard to hit the ones that are near the entrance as well as the ones that are near the exit. And usually the person that's taking the center platform is going to be leaving that before that occurs. I'm going to go for a spread needle chance. I'm kind of sad we didn't get one the other day. It was not meant to be. Uh, I could Dark Flow if I want to. I think I'll just stick to last one for now. The next time we run this quest, I will find a way to level up is good because I'm not at max defense yet. That actually matters for a couple of areas, especially when I'm doing endless and it requires me to go damageless. I would like to not die while using Dark Flow in early areas if possible. I will welcome like a, up to 80 or so or even 60 defense more. Fortunately, at least Red Ring provides a lot of protection defensively. 13's okay defensively. Nice and simple.
Yeah, I realized there's no point to me leaving super early. I just realized the thing I want to go to later is open at 5. So I just need to be done around 4. I should be good. I can probably go for another hour and a half from now. Without any issues. by Pacha. Go away from everybody else. Then I'm going to bring it back to the center to make sure that it gives me more areas to dodge. I'm going to go ahead and back up. Back towards the center. Offer myself a free space. Don't like where I am. If it targets me, it's going to hit. Come on. There we go, nice and simple. And we're on the last song. Or one of the last songs of Suits of Rage. Inga Rawson. Nice, slipped in some extra damage there on last swan. So close. If we get another cycle, it's dead. Nice. I think it's dead here. Nice. Team with three players. Don't have to worry about the other cycles. Goodbye, boss. That should put me well within range of leveling next time we do it. Here are these. Hmm. Not too many interesting box drops. <laughs> Our most interesting thing of the day was definitely the ED hit laser. It wasn't good, but it was interesting. Character deaths, no skip doll for me. 12 to go. Ooh. I'm at 38,000 to go. I'll do like two more runs of this and then I'll switch over to uh, being the force so other people can hop in. I figured we'd go for some rare ups before we did Viridian. I'm gonna put away the escape dolls. If I'm not planning to Dark Flow, I don't really need them. That weapon was so disappointing. Yeah, I don't see a spare one in here. It's probably one in my share bag, but I was just double checking. Oh. Thought I did my share bag swap already. I looked at that and I'm like, that's not right. There's no way that's in my share bag. Don't actually see it in here. Interesting. Forty-five hit. This guy is that better than the one that I'm using? Oh, this one is thirty-five machine. I see why I did that. I agree with my assessment. I don't need the ten percent accuracy. I just need damage on this guy. Hmm. Not sure where my twin blaze is. It has to be one of them's definitely on the Hugh cast. I'm not sure what the other one is. Oh well. Right, Hillville. Pick the 
boxes for PTs. Use traps down, take the material. Another confused trap down, put another confused trap down. That should kill them. Oh yeah, there they go. Goodbye, their health totals. I hit it because it didn't die. That that's how I can tell I think I did the damage glitch there, because sometimes she doesn't kill. How did I still end up over here? Must be the camera swap flips my directions. I was holding right on the controller, by the way, chat, just so that you're aware. I'm not holding up or left. I'm holding down and right, and I was somehow left of my goal. What a zany world of uh ESO sometimes. Definitely gonna do this into, I think, a full clear here. But oh, that might not have been long enough. Yeah, keep doing it too early. Unfortunate. I'm killing them mostly just for PD chances. It's definitely better to do that during events. I don't have to technically do anything with them. Set up Hulk Leave on that one. There we go, we assisted. One, two, three. On Dupin. Damn. Doesn't look like any rare slimes today either. Well, can't say we didn't go for it. Oh, luck material. That was kind of worth it. a long song. Uh, I'm gonna skip it forward. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, it has been going on for like seven minutes. There we go. Much better. Wow, the boss doesn't even get a chance to attack. So sad. It shoots a laser and dies. Also, hello, level up. This will be nice. Ooh, extra accuracy is also huge. That means I don't need to use certain units. And we're still a little bit far away in terms of defense capping, which I, I still don't think will happen. In fact, my defense will go down significantly. But I can get rid of needing to do adept. I think right now I just have it on for resists. like actually needing its full stats. Not that I don't benefit so somewhat from the stats. I'm gonna move forward. Last time I was like a little too slow. This is better than nothing, I think. Oh 
my gosh, I'm on time. Oh, time to make him run in a circle. Come to me, Sinos. Join me. Oh, look at that. You're all fighting each other. What a shame. Oh, well. I think that's my new favorite trick. Just knowing that I could just completely circle around them and invalidate them. Hmm. Just another advantage they have over Ramar. for a hard up chance. After Streets of Rage 3. Wait, we already did Eye of the Beholder. Oh, there's a PC 38 version. Oh. Or 98, I mean. Let's listen to that then. I don't think we heard that one last time. Hey guys, it's Nick here, and today... No, 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 no. Not a Let's Play. Bad. OST. YouTube, please. I put OST in the search. I'm waving my finger. See, we, we heard the second CD version last time. Now let's hear the PC98 version. Legend series. Fantasy Role-Playing Saga, Volume 1. It dies so fast. Poor boss. I thought it was, that's fine. Nice. Now we just assist with the Arlens on the cleanup. You. How cleave run. Oh boy, don't die to the claw. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I almost died of the claw. Some die mates just in case I get tagged. Nice, already started the room. I like how technically we never have to go to the platform. We're going for the full clear on Redria. It's still useful to do it to hit the other enemies. Do a freeze trap here. Oh, no Gafoe to stop him. Let's do this. There we go. Nice and simple. Yeah, I'm still no spread needle. Unfortunate. It is like one in three something, 300 something, 25 or like 56. Maybe one day. Yeah, spread needle is like one in 900 something, like 908 or something. Oh well. Spinners. That was the character creation theme? I was like looking at the title for a second on my side monitor. I was like, wait a minute. Interesting. Ooh. 
Division One. Like a little too in the center. I gotta move forward slightly. Yeah, she's like just barely not enough accuracy to get 100% on Last Swan on this boss, which is kind of sad. Wish Last Swan had slightly higher stats to make up for the fact it can't come with percents. Still really good, but imagine if it just had like 50 more ATP, like 10 more base accuracy. How huge that would be on characters like Uniroll. Or even Fomoral. short cycle tier it'll be sad but better ultimately should be able to out regen whatever it's doing oh it killed somebody that's awkward that throws off the timing i am probably dead i am super dead <laughs> i am not surviving that at all rip me well Red ring, red screen. <laughs> oh, that's that's a look. I haven't seen this screen in a while like that. I would like to not return to Pioneer 2. I am so scared to press a button. You have no idea. I'm just going to remain dead. I don't think it dropped anything of interest. There we go. Rip that boss XP though. Yeah, unfortunately when uh, somebody dies to the lasers, it makes the cycle a bit different. So instead of the boss coming down and targetable, where you could easily do 2,000 damage and kill it, I, I just died. There's it it's pretty much something I could do. Unless, unless I literally had more than 2k health, I'm not surviving that. If it had, if it had so linked health weave, I think he also would have been okay. Because I would have switched to a higher damage weapon, so I didn't do it in increments of 100. I just saw that in Accepted Fate chat. I was like, listen. <laughs> it's like, 1300? No, you... The, the, maybe the craziest Heaven Striker crit will kill without killing me. Two normals into a Berserk and just believe. Okay, so we'll do one more, and then I'll probably host. Let me know, chat, if there's anybody that wants to hop in for runs. Probably switch it over to Viridian after this. need four accuracy I still need more ATA ups. I eventually could do double century in here. This also gives me the luck cap that I need. But yeah, until I get those four extra levels of stats to make up for the ATP and maybe get accuracy up. Because I get like, what, 2.5 per century in? Give chat a moment or so, see if they want to join. Otherwise, we'll continue. Yeah, I think Murphy has to go after this one. He said 30 40. And after that, we'll figure stuff out. funny 
I actually like the PC98 version more than the Sega CD version we heard the other day. It's got no good percentage though. So sad. That one bar bowl just got actually deleted. I think every single one of them focused him. Every time that dragon head comes down, I'm like, please not today. Don't land on me. Fortunately, I had invincibility. I get it. At least two swings there cleans it up pretty nicely. I swear, if I end up even remotely to the left of my destination, I'm going to be very upset. Still ended up left of the destination. That sucks. Holding down and right betrayed me again. I gotta figure out what the input is to go from the dragon to actually where you need to be. Down and right is not the answer. Maybe it's down and left. As dumb as that sounds, to go to the upper right. That should be not big that I'm looking for. Very lily, interesting. I mean, I'll take the 2k Misetta. We got a rare enemy, it's just not the one we wanted. One, two, three. On Dupin. Unfortunate. I have been winning the lottery with this uh, invincibility. I'd really not. I'd like to not heal unless I have to. Okay, every time I think I like the song, it just finds like a new part I find interesting and like more. This is such a weird theme. Dungeon 5. This is uh, Eye of the Beholder, the PC-98 version, since we heard the second CD version. I thought the second CD version was okay. I didn't I didn't think anything of it, but wow, hearing the PC-98 version is like, so much better. It's not even close. Every song so far has been very interesting. Rip Hell Queen. I think this would be like an aquatic theme. Like you're at the bottom of the sea. That's what it reminds me of. Like material, nice. In that case, since Hellcleave is already here, we might as well just full clear these for the heart of. Oh, 
might as well. There we go. So yeah, maybe I'll have to add this to my soundtrack list to listen to. Charlie, the safety diamond. There we go. We're gonna make him give a nice little hug. They'll all punch each other to death. My favorite type of hug. That. About to get two kills. Nice. All I did was walk in a big circle. So I lose like a second doing that, but it's like I get three kills. Or two if I'm unlucky. Found the video for Eye of the Beholder. <laughs> yeah, I put OST in the first time and it definitely put a Let's Play on, and why like, that's not, not what I told you to do. So yeah, we're going through the Yuzoko's a hero uh, playlist, quote unquote, things that he has worked on. Oh, even this one is really good. I like the layering. Why is that not targetable to me? Hello? Hello? I feel like that wasn't my fault. I thought the game just actually didn't target. What the heck was that? I was like within like a degree of targeting it and it did not target or redirect. That was ridiculous. Stubborn game. <laughs> it's like, I was looking right at it. It was like, no, there's no targets there. I'm like, what? Maybe I was like one step out of range because I did take like a small step forward in between. So it's possible that happened. But that was very silly. Good help, Cleve. Freeze trapped my back, so I have a guaranteed kill on the close targets. Yeah, these guys are so random, I have no idea where they're gonna move. Relative to like allies, you could bounce off of anything. I'm actually gonna confuse trap this. Them fighting each other saves a lot of time if they decide to do so. Let's go free help leave this time. this one. Nice twin blade. And dead. Uh, damn, still no spread needle. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Yeah, we saw several Disco Brave Mans on the run so far, but 
Sadly, none of them rolled well. Well, that's such an interesting sound from the song. As I said before, th this is much better than the second CD version overall. I just like the clarity of the tones more, even if it's like a very similar composition. And I'm not like a big PC-98 fan in general, like I, I didn't grow up on it or anything. But I just like how it sounds. Murphy going in. Oh, I got stuck. There we go. I got through it eventually. one set of shots, which is unfortunate. Oh, I took one step further, I would have dodged. I got mag invincibility. Why am I dodging? <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> Dude, I can just stand out in the open. Oh, well, speaking of stand out in the open, thanks, Falls. damage as I could. Miss one set of shots though. There we go. I biced it up. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss that cycle. Get out of here. Credit music plays as we kill falls. Somewhat appropriate. Okay. So if there's anybody else that wants to hop in, I think I'm gonna switch over to Viridian. So I think Murphy may or may not have to go. Wait, that was an S rank with four death? What? Uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, ranking. I know. Where Where's that way we normally play? Yeah, let's get Hellcleave some chances at LNK combat. Bring it in the serious character. Good thing I checked. I mean, I could have whipped out the LNK with 20 hit, which would be funny, I'm not gonna lie, but you need the other one.
Thank you for joining us today, Murphy. Hopefully you have a good day. So we'll do a few runs of these. I mean, I think between me and Hellcleave, we could probably still hard carry this. Oh, since he's going with Switch of Rare Monster Hunts. That's fair. What did you want to hunt that's rare? Yeah, I wasn't sure if anybody else was joining, but if nobody else is joining, it makes sense to switch it then. <laughs> I say we just played this game not that long ago. Do Rappies? A Rappy hunt? One of those. I'm assuming you mean Pink ID. Otherwise, I feel like... It's this Ignition Cloak. Oh, you're talking about very hard mode. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That also makes sense. Uh, I think it's... Okay, let's just do Ignition Cloak stuff then. I'll bring in Blue ID. Yeah, I was thinking you wanted a Rambling Mayor Vivian. That, that makes more sense. Well... We can ego anytime, that is also true. So anyway, if chat has somebody that they want to level, we're going to be lowering to very hard mode since we only have two players. So if you are between 40 and 80, you are more than welcome to join for the experience. You know what, I'll take, I'll take the formal exit. Yeah, there we go. We did the formal exit. Didn't need to. I did it anyway. Yeah, we'll do like two runs of this, maybe. I'll tell you, the soundtrack may be familiar to some of the viewers of the stream. We did a mostly low-level run of this game. We did extremely low amounts of grinding. It was pretty much all plot when we played. There we go, I can, I can enter the right difficulty. of god technique. What a setup. Even is Rafoe we merge already? Hmm. I did like this game, even though it was very cheesy. I can see why it was called Slapstick in Japan. Plop. Okay, so very hard mode game is up for people that want to join. Chad had fun at naming their character, or naming the robot more accurately. Sort of explored the inventory system of this game and inventing. Sort of. It was more relevant in the first quarter of the game. After that, it was kind of like plot items only. Yeah, I like the evil Albert Einstein villain. So we're going to help help leave level a little bit. Assuming it's just us, so we'll continue further. Do B. I'm 
I'm neither human nor female, so I will not get any rare bonuses here. <laughs> I remember I used to think this game was related to Robotech, that I was like, oh, they've nothing to do with each other. I think that might be the first time I missed had like a mistaken identity as to what a game was. Might be this game. an immediate level of There we go. Well, at least people can't say we only did TTF today. We did quite a lot. Scarlet Realm quests were very long. How could we kill that one so I can set up for the next wave? It's like slightly not far enough. Maybe one day we'll visit Robotrack. One day. You see us? Nice. He absolutely melted. Shadowing gun damage is silly. I can see whoever Hellcleave targets, they just go vroom, boom. It's gone. Actually just gone. So, presumably the event will start next week. If it doesn't, we'll still do a little bit. I, it will not be as long as today's session is. Today, Today's a special day. Make up a little bit for Saturday, because I was running around all over the place. I got stuck in traffic for a very long time, chat. I just want you to know. I was not happy about it. I had enough time I literally texted. next week. Yeah, it was if I was with family at the time and it was so bad we didn't even get to go to the thing that we were supposed to go to. Yeah, I haven't seen them start an event in a week in a long time. I'm not even sure if they still do that. I'm expecting it to be. If, it, if it's not next Saturday, it's gonna be the Saturday after. Nothing in between. Weekend only. If I wrap these. Putting on magical piece here just to make sure they instantly kill the rappies. This also helps with the dwarf on that's about to spawn on me. to switch to Rufoe. Now I pull. Remember that my button is here. There we go. I got there eventually in the end. 
to kill the S-Star. I'm going to make sure I do as much damage as possible for the Dwarf on. I find we're fully faster on those waves, and then I switch back to uh, the Bowie stacks here. As long as health leave ends up killing the Astar, I'm usually fine. Anything else should just melt. Yes, yeah, so it's more important I get these stacks out. Yeah, last chance of seeing a zoo rare for a little bit. No more Dwarfons, it seems. Health leave. Oh, it flew into the fireball. You know what? That works. I'm gonna maintain magical piece in my hand. Do myself real quick. Way I could get as much as possible from each fireball. We've already a nice 55. Goodbye, Goron. Oh, I gotta take it forward, I think. The game lets me. Yeah, I want to cast slower in this room because it's very easy for me to waste TP while I'm waiting. I'd rather the fireballs do more damage. Wait for help leave the trigger in. Trigger was like, nope, not gonna activate. I saw where Hellcleave was, it just decided, nope. We're trolling today. Goodbye, enemies. Nice spell time draw. Again, I feel like sometimes we're rewarded more for a very hard mode than ultimate. Kinda nonsense. Like, you go like an hour, don't see any PDs in ultimate, play like 12 minutes of very hard mode. It's like, yeah. I don't care about PD chances, differences between difficulties. Yeah, because that, that was a lot of ultimate runs we saw. Literally nothing. I'm relearning my mappings a little more. I'm forcing myself to remember how I set things up. Yeah, Rafoe Merch plus Ignition Cloak means that I'm basically going to be nuking everything. It's very important I actually do get the Rafoe Merge on here since losing 30% is bad. I need an extra cast per kill if I don't do that. Like, see, I barely kill there with the 10%. And then the other thing I think I see people do, or, which I don't agree with, I'll show you what I do instead. For this, I actually like to Gazond, because the Barissas die at the same rate, but then you actually kill the Goron Detonator. I feel like a lot of people see the Marissas and default to Rafoli there. I think that's actually just the wrong call. Because otherwise, it's like, well, then you have like a nearly full health Goron Detonator that isn't going anywhere. Up in the middle, I can assist both sides. I'm gonna do this, he's out of range. Yeah, 
here's where I think it's right to stun lock. We're again using Rizond here. Cut down this entire wave of enemies. To help cleave clean it up a little. <laughs> well, my screen he just teleported into absolute nothingness. He got deleted. And once we get the stunlock going, we're gonna go ahead and ship the hill cleave again. I am not sure what the game thought I was targeting there. I'm actually confused. It went, Oh, maybe the zoo was over my head. I don't know. It was weird. I just went all the way to the right for some reason. Or Marissa, interesting. Damn, Hellcleave deleting. Nice level up for Hellcleave. That time the game was just not accepting my input in between. So sad. No, no buffer input. Bonk. I will not pick up that Magua. Basically, I want to stick to Rifoe up until I get to the final room again. I say it's very silly watching help the bazooka damage or not bazooka the uh, LNK damage already so high. How many nerf help please? Well, 56 U cast is still too strong. Do a nice little zap there so they walk into my Rebarda. Excellent. Exactly what I wanted them to do. A little closer, punish them with Rebarda. Same thing again, let them spawn Razan, let them group in a little bit. Be able to catch two with this. Indeed, I did. Excellent. Unlock the Grand Detonators and the Zoos. Now Cleave has free reign over the entire room. Again, these are the kind of quests where I really enjoy the control the Force has over them. Like, I dictate the entire pace of this fight. Like, if I do well, the enemy doesn't get to do anything ever. It's also funny watching uh, demons being used by the Hugh cast due to the uh, penalty not existing there. A little drive by there. Actually, I want to equip the magical piece again. I think we did. And maximize as much damage as I can on spawn. At least don't stand a chance. They bonked me. They did it. They moved me past the no go line. And this should just be game at this point. So I'm gonna stunlock the zoos. Hopefully, we'll kill the Grand Detonators. <laughs> Francis Corpse to send a message. I'd like to get this power material. What's my synchro doing, by the way? It's actually fantastic. So yeah, I think we could do at least one more. This will be one of the final calls for people looking to hop in. Put something off. Sadly, no PDs. Curiosity, how many tickets am I at? Oh, nice. It's 
14. Let's do one more. Almost did ultimate, that would have been sad. I'm gonna say, look at that. I actually used my equipment menu that time. Pile. A great sacrifice for better RNG. I like this character could in theory use Red Ring, but I'll never really play an area where I would require it. Since I'm just doing episode 4, I'd rather have the ignition stuff. Like, eh, that'll be fine. Love how clean is mag. I'm assuming it's a special mag versus an unleveled mag. And with a kit. By other enemies. targeting what like wait I'm in a menu that doesn't that still makes me target I guess because I'm in a technique menu I didn't really think about that before like, wait a minute I'm just moving slower because of that I didn't reach my destination how sad Magical pieces enhance Gazan damage to just absolutely shred this enemy. Damn, that spell is so fast. So it sounds like, given that we listen to the final boss music, and I'm assuming that was the credit music, we are done with the soundtrack. We're gonna go ahead and switch it over. Just a moment. I have to kill these Astarks first, though. Don't want to leave Hellcleave hanging on this. There we go. Let's go ahead and switch that song for the final time on the stream. Oh, you know what? I've been meaning to play this game. I felt bad we didn't play it this year. I'm gonna play it next year. I was going to do this originally when we were playing Zelda games. But oh well. I have to lower the volume on my side. Grab a couple of these. And good to go. Remember I would just kill guards at the beginning of the game, but I didn't really care about the story. Childhood for me was interesting. I mostly ignored plot. I just did whatever I wanted. I feel it's a little opposite. I still do whatever I want and try to break the game, but I feel like I'm more plot focused now. I'm not just killing those basic guards near the palace over and over. Apparently an alternate title for this game is The Story of Thor. So I did not know that. I believe this is on one of the Sega Collection games. Where there's like the 12-in-1, the etc. On, uh, I think I have it on PS3. But I'll, I'll probably just play the original version versus one of those. But 
but it is indeed Beyond Oasis. Remember the angry looking eyes on the title of the game. Quote unquote, largest adventure game ever for Genesis, according to the box. Don't know if that's actually still true or not. There you go, chat. Tall order, tall claim. Unfortunately, it had one of those plots where I wasn't super involved because you had to collect elementals. And Chad has heard me rant about this on so many different topics. I'm not going to bring it up again, other than I don't like that as a theme of plots. So I got to some of the summoning, and summoning mechanics, but did not go into the rest of the game's plot. Damn, how keep going in? No respect for the enemy. I got some time to switch over. There we go, back to Kapoe we go. Orphan's gonna try. Goodbye, Astar. Gonna be deleted by Hellcleave. Oh, Dorfana Claire, seriously? Chat, whatever. Chat, whatever. <laughs> that was fun. Remember when we were trying to get the rare enemy to spawn during the anniversary event? Yeah, whatever. Still no Del Rappi, I know. We're gonna get Pazuzu at this rate, where we see Del Rappi. Listen, it can't cure my confusion. No matter what that unit tells me, I'll be forever confused why the game is like this. Why did they do this? I know, like of all the rare enemies, I'm telling you, we're, we're due for another Pazuzu for no reason. The battle music. are so fast. Only want the mine material here. More Rappi speaks for Hellcleave. I was gonna say, Hellcleave must be slightly happy that uh, Rappi mags, I think, are part of the component formulas now. I saw that there were more that require mags. Keep the mag business going, as it were. Forever a demand. Goodbye, Marissa. Oh, I actually got a legit photon crystal? Huh. Alright. I'll take them. to put together a nice list for next year's game. I've been thinking about it a little bit. I definitely want to revisit some games we played a few years ago. <laughs> I will make chat sit through Nino Kune 1 chat. <laughs> That's a... Hmm. <laughs> It'll be a game. Maybe that'll be my Christmas present to myself. 
Although, to be honest, I'm more likely to give up more days for PSO during the Christmas event. I would like to do Sansa Salzahar, so I think that will be guaranteed next year, as well as more Mountain Blade. I might do like a Mountain Blade campaign than a Sansa Salzahar campaign. Will it be worse than Wild Arms 2? Um, the tutorials are like arguably worse than Zestarius. They're way more offend. They offend me as a player. They are. They are very interesting. I might just go for speedrun strats for that game. Yeah, for those that don't know, there is a tutorial for opening the start menu. I don't mean to do anything else, I just mean for that. You have to sit through it. It's it's something else. <laughs> just like, oh man. Gonna do other disguise during other Halloweens? Maybe. If there's interest. Yeah, exactly. If you, yeah, there is a reason I complained about this game, chat. Listen, the game, the game tilts me. <laughs> Just like, I feel like I'm gonna have like hysterical fits as we go through those uh, tutorials. But yeah. I think, I think my best quote for understanding about that game is I did not know it was gonna involve monsters in any of the mechanics of the game because they didn't show up for the first four bosses or the first three hours of the game. I'm like, wait, this is gonna be a thing? Why wouldn't you do this? It's like playing Pokemon, but then you don't get a Pokemon until like you beat, defeat the first two gym leaders. You're like, wait. Why is, wait, wait, why wouldn't you just start with this? It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. As I said before, it might be my Christmas gift to myself. Just treating chat, thank you. I have never bothered to do the post-game content. It is one of the few games I have ever actually been so mad while playing that when it told me what the final reward was for beating the game, I literally walked over and turned the PlayStation off. I was, I was that done. I was, I was that done when I saw what the reward was for beating the game. After the gameplay leading to that point, I was so mad. Swear, chat. They knew. They knew. I'm still going to be tilted again on stream. Because I guarantee you, it's going to be like an absolute nightmare when I go back to that funnel boss. Hopefully with my ship down. That was my bad. Try again. Oh yeah. Oh dear. It's it's a wild ride. It looks very nice though. I will give them that. They got the Studio Ghibli thing down, but ooh, that gameplay is. Hmm. I was like, wow, I think I had more control over my characters in Tales of Destiny 1. Holy, this is a PS3 game? You sure? Hmm. That, that's gonna be a treat. I might just play the opening of Nino Kune 2 again and then just turn it off because that was like the only good part of Nino Kune 2, I'll be real with you. That opening is still one of the most ridiculous of all time. How dare they not follow up on that premise until like literally the last 30 minutes of the game. What a tease. I mean, come on, chat. The first 30 minutes of the game are the president of the US gets hit by a nuclear bomb. <laughs> it's like, what? It's, it's like not at all where you think Nino Kune would go, and you're like, oh, hmm, okay. What? I know, that game is, that game is wild. If you haven't seen that cutscene, we're gonna watch it on stream at some point. I, I will reinstall that game just so you can watch the intro. That's it. None, none of the rest of the game is worth playing, to be honest, but man, that intro was something else. Even knowing the twist, you still don't you still don't really see it coming. It's so ridiculous. 
Oh man. But yeah, fail, failed to live up to uh, expectations of one of the highest bars ever for starting a game. Oops, I accidentally died fluid there. Just meant to try fluid. But I get for not using magical piece. I could have gotten away with just two dive fluids. It would have been better. Oh well. Too late now. Getting bullied. Me alone. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, GG Rare Monsters, pretty much. What a big troll. I think we'll pause soon. I am getting very hungry, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda look like it, but it's not Cookie Class. Welcome from Methian, hope you're doing well. We are right at the tail end of our stream. We did a bonus one, I mean it went on for over five hours, to be fair. Not this particular section. Oh, no, 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 we're done. Yeah, I'm not doing another one. I'm just handing in stuff. We'll talk a little bit, but then I I'm gonna go get some food. So there we go. Rewards for the session were, like, two PDs, a Cure Confused, and Photon Crystal. Okay, good, I gotta do stuff anyway. Nice. Put this stuff away. A lot of materials. Ooh, I kept on HPs. To figure out somebody to hold those, I guess. They're basically future fodder for trades, that's how I view it. So, yeah, we'll plan out some games. I think for the most part, I could probably beat a Disgaea every Halloween. I haven't decided if I wanted to make it a series or just leave it for Halloween, because we did that for Deception, where we basically just did uh, one main game. And speaking of which, we'll be uh, wrapping up probably most of Disgaea next week. I'll try to get the bonus content in, but I'd like to also get at least one session of Cult of the Lamb for people that are looking for the skins for that game. I might as well start it up kind of thing. But anyway, John, let's say goodbye to you two. So, sadly no red rings. Uh, no crazy units overall between our two PSO sessions, but hey, you know, PDs still count towards something, I suppose. We did pick up a lot of Jessica Braymans in terms of, you know, floor drops, but nothing too interesting. Promethean would have loved that laser. I'm gonna go back and shame that laser if chat did not already put that in the Discord. Been lurking during Disguise. Told I should try it, but never got around to it. Nice, nice. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pause here for our PSO talk, but we'll talk for like 10 more minutes on stream after that. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching, and hopefully see you again in the next part.